Welcome, doctor. This is Dr. Eugene Charles, doctor of chiropractic and diplomate in applied kinesiology. I've been teaching applied kinesiology since 1986, and I was asked to share a few moments with you about what is applied kinesiology, introducing you to something that you probably heard about, but maybe don't really know. Unfortunately, there's a lot of wives' tales about applied kinesiology, and I'm here to dispel them and at least get you clear on what it is. Applied kinesiology can be called the clinical application of the study of movement and function. We figure out what's moving, what's not moving, and we get it functioning better. We use muscle testing to figure out the central integrated state of the nervous system, and we use it as a feedback mechanism. But where I think applied kinesiology takes it to a different level is that applied kinesiology embraces all modalities of healing. Obviously, it was started by a doctor of chiropractic, so Chiropractic is a main part, but I've taught medical doctors in the 30 years that I've been teaching applied kinesiology. I started teaching applied kinesiology in 1986, and I teach all different disciplines. So I'm very excited that you're here in this introduction, and I hope I spark something inside of you that takes your healing to a new level. If you're like me, I was looking for something more when I was in chiropractic school and my shoulder was in pain and people kept ultrasounding my shoulder and cracking my neck, not adjusting. And after a year, I'm going, if that's the answer, we're fixed it by now. And then I saw Dr. Goodhart, the founder of Applied Kinesiology, teaching in Los Angeles, and he started saying different things about it, and those words reverberate through me to this day. He said, if you have to do something more than three times, and I quote, that ain't it, and I almost jumped up and screamed, hallelujah, yes. And when he diagnosed my shoulder in 10 seconds and told me how to separate a chromioclavicular joint and how he did it still sticks with me like an epiphany. He tested my middle deltoid and it was painful and weak. And then he approximated my chromioclavicular joint and the delt got rock hard. I said, how's that possible? That's, that's unbelievable. He said, well, the middle deltoid crosses the joint and because of the separation, it causes an inhibition and it'll be weak. He moved on, but I never lost that spot. So I'm here with you today, doctors, hopefully inspiring you to want to learn what I feel is the greatest healing modality there is. Applied kinesiology really does give you a vast array of other therapeutic options. When you find a muscle inhibition, let's say, now using the tools you're going to learn in this course, should you move forward, you'll be able to figure out, does it need a chiropractic adjustment? Does it need a certain technique for the spindle cells or the Golgi tendons to work on the muscle directly? Does it need nutrition? Is there a manganese deficiency? You can also sit and do more active things. Every treatment that is possible, every modality besides drugs and surgery will be at your fingertips. You don't have to master all of it. You can just use the parts that you like. So, applied kinesiology is the clinical application of the study of movement and function. You do your muscle testing and you'll learn different indices, different modalities of when to do what on whom. And isn't that what makes you a physician? I have said quite often in my field, there should be chiropractic technicians who just want to adjust the same thing and spend less than two minutes with each patient, not my speed. And there should be chiropractic physicians who diagnose the need, supply the need and observe the results. Now, if you wanna be a chiropractic physician, this is for you. The beauty of AK, to sum it up, it is the only modality I've seen that asks the question, why? Why is that muscle tight? Why is that tight? Not just that the trap is tight and we're gonna work it out and we're gonna grind it out. Why? There must be a muscular inhibition, a muscular weakness somewhere, find it, fix it, watch that trap trigger point just disappear. And to me, that's the magic of healing. And I hope I've done a satisfactory job in introducing you to applied kinesiology. I'm honored to be teaching it and I hope I can keep teaching it. And I hope this takes you to the level you want to be to be the best healer that you can be. This is Dr. Eugene Charles. Thank you for your time.